Hello, my name is Maurice Bigler and I'm a research fellow at the University Hospital of Bern. Today I present to you our results about functional assessment of myocardial ischemia by intercoronary ECG. In patients with chronic coronary syndrome, PCI targets hemodynamically relevant stenotic lesions. In other words, those thought to cause ischemia. That is, coronary lesions inducing flow restrictions beyond the compensatory autoregulation of the myocardial microcirculation. This key feature of coronary resistance, and thus, myocardial perfusion normally allows a 4 to 5 fold blood flow increase, also called coronary flow reserve. In patients with coronary lesions, compensatory vasodilatation preserves adequate perfusion at the expense of decreased flow reserve. Accordingly, in situations with higher oxygen demand, for example during physical exercise, the limited vasodilatory reserve causes ischemia. Intracoronary ECG can directly reflect the amount of ischemia. This is demonstrated with an example from our study. In this patient with a hemodynamically significant coronary lesion, Intracoronary ECG recorded at the beginning showing no relevant ST segment shift. With progressive pharmacologic stress, regional ischemia extended across the myocardial wall until transmural ischemia caused a remarkable ST segment shift. Transmural ischemia, however, resolved quickly after termination of stress. We included 100 patients with stable coronary artery disease. After diagnostic angiography, pharmacologic simulation of physical exercise was performed using dobutamine plus atropine until reaching the maximum heart rate. There, intracoronary ECG ST segment shift was measured and compared with functional pressure gradients using the independent structural parameter of person diameter coronary narrowing as the reference for structural stenosis relevance. As you can see, relevant stenotic lesions are overall, detected less accurately by intracoronary ECG ST segment shift during myocardial ischemia than by the fractional flow reserve or the instantaneous wave free ratio. In particular, the theoretical stenosis specificity of the pressure-derived functional indices was directly corroborated for the first time in our study. While the intracoronary ECG during hyperemia very sensitively detected a relevant coronary stenosis responsible for myocardial ischemia. To conclude, hyperemic intracoronary ECG ST segment shift detects structurally relevant coronary stenotic lesions with high sensitivity, while they are identified highly specific by FFR and IFR. This enables the application of hyperemic intracoronary ECG as a high sensitivity rule out diagnostic test in patients with borderline coronary lesions and relatively contraindications against PCI. Thank you for watching my presentation and enjoy this unique congress of the Swiss Society of Cardiology.